I'm Dr. Tony Schmitz. I'm a professor at the University of Tennessee, Knoxville. I specialize in vibration measurement for physical systems. So today I'm visiting AME in order to measure the difference in vibration response of tombstones um, that are manufactured from different materials. Collectively, when that data is assembled, we'll be able to, to talk unequivocally about the advantages of one material over another in different applications. Um, we found cast iron and steel had similar results with a little more damping for the cast iron, um, but at opposite ends of the spectrum were the aluminum and epoxy. The aluminum had very little damping and the epoxy had a whole lot of damping on, so on each side of the cast iron and steel. So I can, by having increased dynamic stiffness, I can reduce the potential for chatter. I can improve my surface finish and I can improve my tool life. So if I owned a shop and, and I were gonna make this decision, here would be the decision matrix that I would use. First of all, I would rule out the aluminum tombstone. Um, second, um, to justify the cost of the epoxy tombstone, um, I would be convinced that I, I could um, acceptable machining performance relative to steel or cast iron. So I wouldn't have to worry about that. Um, the trade-off that I would measure would be um, the reduced mass of the epoxy relative to the cost. So let's say I could reduce the mass by 50% by going to the epoxy, then I would feel justified, um, I don't know, in, in, a, in a simple calculation by saying I could justify maybe 50% more cost because of that mass reduction. Customers had always asked us, well, where's the science behind that? And that's why we uh, brought Tony in. You know, we wanted an expert that does this type of vibration analysis uh, day in, day out. Yeah, the advantage on the uh, two-part epoxy tombstones is it's equivalent uh, lightweight as aluminum, but it's also very stable with temperature changes. One reason we're doing this testing is because we want the public and, and the customers to understand um, what these tombstones are capable of, and you gotta have a solid foundation, and that's why you gotta build on a rock.